formula for fluid replacement in burns there are different formula for the calculation of fluid repla replacement in burns the first one consensus formula the consensus formula here the first thing what we what we are giving is electrolyte so in the electrolytes usually we are using ringer lactate the formula for fluid calculation is 2 to 4 ml into kilogram body weight into percentage of total body surface area burnt based on this formula we are identifying the amount of fluid that should be inserted to the patient and half to be given in the first 8 hours and the remaining half to be given over next 16 hours so that's regarding consensus formula consensus formula means here we are giving to 4 ml into percentage uh, into kilogram body weight into percentage of body surface area burnt next formula is evans formula evans formula here colloids we will be given electrolytes we will be given so in case of electrolytes the formula is 1 ml kilogram body weight into percentage of total body surface area burned. So, the, here the electrolytes in consensus formula we are giving 2 to 4 ml into kilogram body weight into percentage of body surface area burned. But here 1 ml is used. 1 ml into kilogram body weight into total body surface area burned that is the formula for the electrolytes mainly saline we are giving in Evans formula and uh, here we can give colloids the colloids formula is 1 ml again the same as electrolyte here 1 ml into kilogram body weight into percentage of total body surface area burned and in case of insensible water loss, we are giving glucose 5% dextrose in 5% dextrose. So, in case of insensible water loss, we are giving glucose that is 5% dextrose. In day 1, half to be given in first 8 hours, remaining half hour the next 16 hours. In day 2, half of the previous day colloids and electrolytes. Maximum of 10,000 ml over 24 hours. Evans formula. Here we are using 1 ml kilogram body weight into percentage of body surface area burned that is the formula we are using here the electrolytes also can be used colloids also can be used electrolytes normally we are using saline and the colloids that's based on the needs of the patient and in case of uh, insensible water loss if the insensible water loss 2000 ml, we are giving glucose that is 5 percentage dextrose. And the division of fluids in each day that will be vary. In day 1, same as consensus formula. That is half of the fluid need to be given in 8 hours, remaining half over the 16 hours. In day 2, half of the previous day colloids and electrolytes all the insensible water loss. So, if we are uh, giving 4000 ml of fluid in the previous day, we are giving 2000 ml in the next day. So, that is the Evans formula. Maximum we can give in 24 hours is 10,000 ml. Next formula is Brook Army formula. Brook Army formula here same as Evans we can give colloids and electrolyte and major electrolyte we are giving in Brook's Army formula is Ringer lactate 
and the formula for the electrolyte electrolyte is 1.5 ml into kilogram body weight into total body surface area burned here the colloids we are used is 0.5 ml into kilogram body weight into total body surface area burned in case of evans formula we are uh, for colloids and electrolytes we are using the same formula that is 1 ml into kilogram body weight into percentage of total body surface area but in case of brooks army formula the colloids the formula is different electrolytes the formula is different for colloids we are giving 0.5 ml into kilogram body weight into percentage of total body surface area electrolyte 1.5 ml into kilogram body weight into total body surface area burned and glucose same as evans formula we are giving glucose that is 5% 5 percentage in uh, dextrose in water for the 2000 ml for insensible water loss so that is regarding the brooks army for formula and same as uh, evans formula day 1 half of the fluid need to be given in 8 hours and the remaining half over the next 16 hours and day 2 half of the previous days colloids and electrolyte the all the insensible water loss that is regarding the brooks army formula here colloids and electrolyte colloids is 0.5 ml electrolyte is 1.5 ml next one parkland formula and nowadays parkland formula is commonly used parkland formula otherwise known as baxter formula here the ringer lactate or the electrolyte the formula is 4 ml into kilogram body weight into percentage of total body surface area burned and this parkland formula applied for second and third degree burns and here in day 1 half of the fluid need to be given in 8 hours and remaining half over the next 16 hours and day 2 it may be varies and colloids are added that is regarding the parkland formula in parkland formula we are giving 4 ml into uh, kilogram body weight into percentage of total body surface area burned and parkland formula or the baxter formula is commonly used formula nowadays and mostly it is applied for second and third degree burns thank you